Hey everybody. So I'm going to go over the um, operant conditioning, which is a kind of difficult concept for students to understand. Operant conditioning, remember that there are rewards and punishment. Your behavior changes due to um, rewards and uh, punishment or uh, consequences. So one thing, so whenever a scenario is um, placed, students are, you have four choices. Is this scenario either positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, positive punishment or negative punishment, and students get those four kind of confused. So I'm going to try to explain it in a clear way to understand the differences between these four. So first of all, you have to see the behavior. So the behavior, if the behavior is increasing or if it's being repeated, it's going to be reinforcement. So this is reinforcement. You can think of it as behavior is repeated or likely to happen again. Behavior repeated. So that's the first step, is ask yourself, is the behavior likely to happen again? If so, it's reinforcement. And just know it as reinforcement. And if the behavior is decreasing or is not being repeated, then it's punishment. Punishment and behavior is not being repeated. So, not repeated. So, for example, let's say if you work really hard at a job and your boss gives you a raise, then are you likely to work at the job hard again next time? If so, that's reinforcement because the behavior of working hard will be repeated. But if you work hard at a job and your boss cuts down your hours, then that behavior is likely to decrease or not be repeated, therefore that will be punishment. So when behavior is repeated, it's reinforcement. If it's, not, it's, uh, if, uh, if it's not or if the behavior decreases, it's punishment. Then if something is added, that is positive. So added is positive, so it will be positive reinforcement. If you work hard at a job, your boss gives you a raise, something was added for you to repeat that behavior, that's positive reinforcement. And if something is taken away, then that's negative. So negative doesn't always mean bad. Let's say you work hard at a job and your boss says, well now instead of wearing a suit and tie to work every day, you get a raise. And, um, or you get a reward, and the reward is you, can, you don't have to wear the suit and tie that's uncomfortable anymore. So that wearing the suit and tie, um, you're likely to increase or repeat your behavior of working hard at the job. In this case, something wasn't added, but something that was uncomfortable was taken away. So that's negative reinforcement, which still increases your behavior, so it's still reinforcement. And for punishment, it's similar. If something was added for you to stop doing that behavior, that will be positive reinforcement. So the same example, if you're working at a job and your boss uh, gives you more work, and because you're not working hard enough, they give you more work, something was added and that may make you uh, not work as hard or not repeat the behavior of you working hard. So that decreases future behavior. And if something is taken away, then that's negative. So negative punishment. So something is taken away for you to not repeat that behavior. If you work really hard at a job, but your boss takes away your hours, so now you're working less hours at an hourly job, then your, your behavior of working hard will likely decrease or not be repeated. So that's negative punishment. So remember, whenever you're given a scenario, ask yourself, is the behavior likely to repeat? If so, it's reinforcement. Don't even look at this. And then ask yourself, was something added or taken away for that behavior to repeat? If something was added, it's positive, therefore positive reinforcement. If something was taken away, it's negative reinforcement. Same with punishment. If the behavior is likely to decrease or not be repeated, it's punishment. And don't even look at this anymore. Then ask yourself, uh, was something added or taken away for the behavior to not be repeated? And that is operant conditioning. So it's a tricky concept and students get confused, but if you think of it in this way, this should hopefully help you out.